We're going to watch both of Marius' wins. He won with 21 kills and 16 kills in the EU finals. So two wins. This is on the back of him now winning the Mr. Savage, Mongrel and Amar 1v1 tournament and coming fourth in FNCS. So Marius on the big blow up. He's pretty much been like, you've probably heard of Marius as like the creative warrior out of EU for the last like few seasons. Pretty much the one player that everyone says could actually beat NA's best Zone Wars players. But now my man is placing in tournaments as well and consistently. Like Marius is, and he streamed it. He streamed both these games live on Twitch too. Interesting, he starts at Underworld, not so, like Grim Gate. To get that many kills for 21 kills, I think he's going to have to instantly get this medallion and then go to Grim Gate and get the Grim Gate medallion. He's instantly got Shotgun, SMG. Now I'm interested to see what Shotgun he runs. I think it's going to be the Gatekeeper. Most of the pros seem to be running the Gatekeeper right now. So he's given, okay, so he's running Green Gatekeeper over Green Auto already. He's also got a bit of a TikTok personality based on just like the random singing and screaming so i think marius is about to have a bit of a content blow up for sure my man's got a personality and really good skill he just passed the pump as well so yeah so he's picked up the green he's picked up the green uh cerberus shotgun what's it called again i said it earlier and i've already forgotten the stupid name of the shotgun either way he's running the new shotgun over pump and auto 100 gatekeeper that's the one and it's only got three shots as well this doesn't have the extended mag so Oh. What the f Did not mean to do that. Not a good start. <laughs> After I'm gassing up Marius' mechanics. Only one other person. Oh, there we go. There's the Marius box. A full piece. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Okay. All right. Is he... Okay, we're going to drop the Zeus and die. Okay, yeah. Damn. All right, we got Gold Gatekeeper. Very good start. And we're about to get Mythic SMG if we take down Hades. Man, there's a lot of really good material out here as well. These new POIs are super strong. And it seems like most people are expecting them to be heavily conned. So as usual, they're not contested at all. My man's just casually taking his time getting max mats and then he's going to take down Hades. Also, I think... Again, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think the Hades boss is the easiest. I've been playing a bunch of ranked and the Hades boss is so easy to kill. He just spawns a couple guards. You like instantly kill them. And then by the time he gets off his throne, he's already dead. Like, he just does nothing. All right, so he, so he built... Okay, so he builds a box in the back corner of the room and then just takes on all the bosses that takes on all the guards from here. It's a smart way to do it because if someone sneaks up on him right now, there's nothing they can really do. Unless they crouch walk all the way up and around this, this corner. Marius is basically completely safe from having someone rat up on him. This is definitely the way to do it. Oh, here we go. We hear the footsteps and now we're safe. Very smart. Very, very smart. So I don't think he's going to pressure the boss until he finds this opponent. It looks like Hades is actually going to... Oh, there we go. I wonder if the, the boss runs towards the opponent. Why is he... This guy looks pretty Wait, good. Why is he 50 though? This guy actually looks pretty decent. He's aggressive, that's for sure. He's also refreshed his uh, underworld dash, which is super important if you're going to spawn fight around here. 100. Damn. Dude, this guy is, is so doing? aggressive. This player is so aggro. <laughs> My man just edited and jumped on him again after getting hit for 100. All right, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of place he's got a lot of peace control here. Oh, we found him. The NPC with the assist. Oh, there's another player. Okay, so it looks like the new PYs aren't. Oh, nice phase in. The new PYs aren't as heavily contested, but you have a lot of people rotating in. So it seems like most people are dropping outside the Mythic POIs and then pushing in. Which is honestly quite irritating sometimes. So you gain the dash effect by either stepping into any of this kind of like green watery stuff you see around the POIs. Or if you get the medallion from Cerberus, the other underworld boss, the one over at Grim Gate, you're you get a constant recharging um, Why is so dash. Now? Only 58 alive. So he drops 19 kills from this point. It's more, it's, this is less about how he gets so many kills and how he's so consistent. Winning two games in EU finals is very difficult. Especially the first tournament in a new season. Like, entirely new meta, and Marius has already got it figured out. So we're running the wings here, interestingly. I wonder if he's actually going to use these. Or whether he's just carrying them for now. So the medallion he currently has is the Siphon Medallion, which is obviously very, very strong in solos. But not quite as strong as this one you get from Grimgate. Oh, the boss hasn't been done yet. The boss is still here. Oh, you can man. tell if you guys don't know. Again, pretty simple. But if you can see the little altar on the minimap at the PY, it means no one's challenged the boss yet. The boss is still up. What? Oh, it's glitched. No way. He got glitched Grimgate medallion. And he still dropped a 21 kill win. Wow. 
That's crazy. That explains why no one's done it yet. So this is a very rare glitch, unfortunately, where you just can't summon the boss. Someone... So does that mean this? he's going to drop over 20 kills in finals and do it without the most OP medallion? I'm even more impressed now. I'm actually even more excited to see uh, how he wins this. Oh, he's there. Ooh. Okay, are we going to drop the wings for a med kit? Okay, so we're running SMG over AR. And we're, cho we're actually choosing to run the wings. Okay. Interesting. I'm surprised to see. I'm going to... I'm interested to see how he actually uses these. I thought he would have dropped them for the med kits just then. I'm so impressed that he goes on to drop 21 kills without that medallion. It's basically the only good form of mobility in the game right now. So he's going to do pretty much a no mobility win here. Unless he uses the wings a lot. Oh my god, the pace control. Jeez. Straight in the cone, okay? Okay, there we go. Alright, so he dropped the wings for the sniper. So we are now doing this with no mobility. Ooh, nice. Okay, so even Marius can hit for 30s. Good to know. I thought it was just me with this friggin' shotgun. But I only hit for 30s is the problem. Bro, I, I can't wait for Marius to go to land because, man, I need to see Marius 1v1 like Reed and some of the Zone Wars guys. The EU Zone Wars scene is still pretty far behind NA as far as creative goes, but at least in realistics, like Marius in realistic 1v1s might be the best in the world. Zone Wars, I think it's still going to go to the NA wager, guys. But realistics, honestly, Marius might have it. He did just win the Savage Amar Mongrel 1v1 Zone Wars 22. Not Zone Wars, 1v1 build fights. Alright, so we're dropping big pods for medallions. So at least we got some form of mobility. I feel like with Siphon, I think running meda like running uh, Fizz big pods would have been better than Fizz minis. Especially with Siphon, but maybe I'm wrong. Alright, come on, let's see some of them build fight mechs. There we go. Nice, nothing too crazy so far though. Oh. Oh, this guy's oh solid. God, Wait, that guy almost got him with the crazy piece. Hold up. This guy's actually decent. Wait, we're not just walking through nobodies. This might be someone we know. We'll see. Wait, who is this? Yeah, I was about to say, Mar I was about to say this might be someone we know. Mario seems to think it might be another pro. This guy's putting up a really good fight. He's got good movement and good positioning. This might be a name we recognize. Not the player I would expect you to run into on a 21 kill win, though. This guy is wasting a lot of material and a lot of time. Marius might have to disengage soon. He's only, he's only down to 35 builds. Oh, there we go. Oh, the low grabs catching him. Oh, is he out of mats? I think the opponent's out of builds. They are. Dead zero mats. 28, okay. It's just so awkward. His shotgun's hitting for nothing. Wait, he does still have builds. It's not even, it's not even a 20 bomb. He's already calling it not as a 20 bomb. So Marius didn't think he was going to get 20 kills from here. I mean, once you didn't... Once the Grim Gate medallion glitched, I'm not surprised. I mean, Marius shouldn't be underrated anymore, man. Fourth place in FNCS EU is very solid. Him and Sane Guild had an insane day two comeback. That one and a half times point multiplier was very, very nice for Marius and Sane Guild. So if you guys don't know, I think Marius and Sane Guild went from roughly about 40th to fourth in a single day of grand finals. That's how well they played on day two. This SMG's fire rate is so good. Yeah, bro. <laughs> These windows are so awkward. <laughs> I'm interested to see if he's going to drop the uh, the Mythic SMG for the Burst SMG. I've seen a lot of the pros still preferring Burst SMG over this new one. Why is bro playing like this? He's so lucky I have to reload. Aha. Ah. Oh, nice. 90 and 80. He is versing decent players so far, too. That guy was probably one of the easier kills so far. 5-5-5, five, 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 only 34 alive. This lobby was super dead. Ah! Oh. oh, the bush camp, though, doesn't matter how good you are. 
You can always go down to a bush camp. Does not matter. <laughs> bush camp and auto shotgun goes hand in hand. And this is the sketchiest position Marius has been in so far. If this guy tried to even take a single build, this might be over for Marius. But this guy is just full spraying and walking forward. Nice. Oh, doesn't panic. Gets the elim. Nice little cheeky siphon. We like that. I want to see if it's a snipe here. So far, the only underwhelming thing from Marius' gameplay has been the sniper. Um, I was about to say, if it's a headshot snipe there, I'm so cursed, I swear. Oh, yeah. Or blessed, however you look at it. He's actually not taking that many walls. He's really relying a lot more on the momentum phase-ins yeah. than wall taking. It's almost like he's like high ping, but he's not. He's, he's Danish ping. It's like, it's showing 10 right now. It's probably closer to 20. But like... You would think he was like 30, 40 ping with the way he plays. He has kind of like an Aviv Peterbot play style. Taken. I'm a okay. This guy not looking. Oh, actually, wait a second. I was about to say, this guy's version doesn't look too crazy right now, but maybe he is. Okay, so he's dropped. Okay, he dropped the Mythic SMG from a, for a gold AR. So as far as trying to figure out what you should be running right now... According to Marius, it's looking like Gatekeeper Shotgun over any other shotgun, and then the new AR over SMGs. We haven't seen him go past a good quality burst for our SMG yet, though. So maybe, maybe. Oh, sliding straight in and oh, goes behind the stair. That's just unlucky for that guy. This new shotgun's also a lot more viable in solos because it's got three shots unless you have the extended mag, which which Marius does right now, which is a big bonus. In duos, I feel like you do really need the extended mag. Only three shots trying to take on a duo is a little bit tough. There we go. Now we're taking some walls. This is, he's a good player to watch if you are a bit higher ping because honestly, most of his playstyle here has not been reliant on ping at all. I can't imagine how this game would have gone if he had the Cerberus medallion. And we're just, again, the momentum phase in. Straight in. No wall taking. No ping required. Just straight in. And after this, we're going to watch his 16 kill win. But the 16 kill win was actually in a higher skill-based matchmaking lobby as well. That's after he already won a game. Oh, oh my god. Okay, there's some peace control. All right. That one was a bit more of a mechanical kill, for sure. 14 kills. 24 alive. So he actually the, doesn't get that many kills here in the end game. He only gets seven of the next yeah, 23 opponents. So a little bit slower on the rotating zones. Wait, he has the only medallion in the whole lobby. No one got Zeus, no one got Ares, and no one got Cerberus. But Cerberus was bugged. So did all of the altars bug except for his? That's so weird. Only one boss got killed in the entire lobby. That's really strange. Oh, see now, here's the problem with the... Chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> I was about to say, here's the problem with the uh, low ammo count, but luckily he's still got the extended mag. Oh, this is a bit awkward here. This might be why he gets so few kills. He's in a rough spot. If this next zone pulls max, he's going to be under a lot of pressure here. Oh, he gets the zone pull though. Very lucky. He gets to sit here and pop all his meds now. Nice. All right, 200 wood, 420 metals. We're running out of chilla, material chilla, a little bit chilla, here. Chilla, chilla. Trying to expand a little bit, take off the pressure, but my man is, is wrong definitely getting lobbied by this guy. Don't Kim, mess. Kim, do it, Marius. Kid, do it. Do it, yes. Do this is why you never spray the kid wearing Surf Witch, by the way. Never, ever try to lobby focus a kid wearing Surf Witch because that kid will chase you 10 miles in a zone. They are always the most emotional players. Ooh. So good at the phase in. Chilla, chilla. Okay, so he's, chilla, okay, chilla. he's starting to switch out to white meds here. So if you're playing the solo victory finals, honestly, the best meds you can run is Fizzberry Jar, med kits or floppers, and big pods. But once you get to rotating zones, if you chilla, can chilla. drop the big pods for extra white meds, like floppers or med kits, 100% the play. Give me this kill. Because pretty much every single game on at least the major regions is going to heal off. Yes. You need to be prepared for the heal off. We like that. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Dude is just in his box somehow. No clue where that guy was going. We're not even looking at high ground. We haven't even glanced up at high ground once. Oh. See, even then, he could have gone for the wall take, but he's just so confident on what getting the, the timing right on the phase ins. What the hell? He does get taken down very weak quite often this game. Nine cents here, go, digger. Full box. 
100. Fully pissed up. Eight alive, 17 e lives. 60. Yo, bro. You have zero mats, bro. Ooh. Oh, no, you have zero mats, man. I'm Small refresh, mad. only get siphoned mats. So, ah, oh, he's still got decent mats, mats oh, though. Oh my god, we're going for clips. No, fully boxed. <laughs> he's got good yeah. tracking with this AR, even hip firing though. Maybe I need to hip fire this AR more often. No. Yeah, so he really didn't get a lot of the kills here on the rotating. I would add, I'm intrigued Clip. to go back and actually see how many Spam walls me. Marius took this game. I think Watch. he's taken like okay. less than 20 walls this 200. game. In the entire game, I feel like he just hasn't taken any walls, basically. He's almost got like the Poyo style play style of getting a bunch of kills just by applying pressure. Compared to like more of like a polarized wall taking like ping dependent we'll play style. Oh my 70. god. I mean, you can just do that to people as well. 200. Jeez. Alright, 1v1. He's being influenced by the NA players. Wait. For clips. Oh, going for clips? No. Oh, we choked the clip. Unlucky. I choked it. <laughs> 21 kill win in EU finals. Jeez. All right, now we've got to see how we get 16 kill wins Let's go. in the high skill based matchmaking lobby, though. Let's go. So this is the 16 kill win. So Marius has already yeah. dropped a 21 kill win in finals with a glitch dash. And now he's going to drop a 16 kill win in a high skill based matchmaking lobby. Remember, once you get one win in, in Solo Victory Cup, you get put into a lobby with all other winners or people who dropped high kill, high placement games. It is much, much harder to win your second game than your first. And this man still goes on to drop a 16 kill win. And oh my God, that's a lot of people at Grimgate. I mean, Underworld, sorry. It's interesting he starts at Underworld and then rotates to Grimgate. I wonder if he does get the dash ability this game. Maybe he doesn't even go to Grimgate. Oh, that was good RNG. Green shotgun straight off the bat. That was very lucky. Nice angles, though. Nice peaks. He's playing this aggressive, but still smart. I wonder if this is worth it, though. 27? Oh, this was bad. His game could have ended right there. Oh, my loadout. Purple shotgun? Is this, does this PY just spawn good shotguns, or am I crazy? So I don't drop Underworld very much. Is it normal to drop on this big temple area? I guess so. Probably has the most amount of loot in it. Fuck, I feel like landing on the outskirts of Underworld. Look at the shot. Okay, this Never PY just so spawned shotguns. shotguns. What is happening? This is there are crazy. seven shotguns and no other guns. <laughs> he hasn't found a single gun that isn't a shotgun yet. What is going on? Ooh. 200. Oh, no. No. 200 for Doxy. No. Doxy. Please do not turn into a <laughs> NA TikTok kid. I want to see the Marius blow up, but not if it goes the TikTok route, please. All right, so we've already got basically full loadout. We can just get material and wait until... I wonder if he's going to start Hades first. We'll see, we'll see. There's still like three other people this POI, so I'm intrigued to see how he takes down the boss here. He always seems to drop main, get loot, and then drop outside and get material and then go back in. He seems to always prioritize getting max mats if he can before taking on the boss, which makes sense. Way more controlling. Man, there's really good loot out here. Dropping on the outskirts might be the play. This might be his duo drop based on how he's playing oh, no, it. Oh, no. He seems to have good drop knowledge right now. It could just be his solo drop, but seems like he's got a very like no, meticulous no, no. strategy for how he plays Underworld. It is Underworld. This is his drop. Okay. Oh, so we do take on the boss. Okay, so two by one on the boss. So we at least have a bit of peace control if we get pushed. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, this is what he did last time. Okay, so he builds a, he builds a box in the corner so he can control the angles at which people can push him from. All right, 64 alive. This game's dying out a bit. Again, this is a 16 kill win, so not as high of a kill game, especially after watching Reed's 39 kill win. This is also before the most recent update, so he's not going to drop the... Um, Hades is not going to drop the mace, which I don't think anyone's going to run. I don't think anyone's going to run the new melee weapon. You can use it like a harpoon. It's kind of the only go, strength go, to go. it, but he just let's got go. a very free Hades. He just got the boss without having to fight anyone. Is Hilof crazy? <laughs> He's asking, is Hilof crazy? Because he dropped a 21 kill win. So he hasn't actually played a solo victory finals that goes to Hilof. So he doesn't know. <laughs> hey, chat, you want to stop having your games go to Hilof? Just drop 20 bombs. Okay, so despite us already having all the loot we need, we are still pushing fights. So we're not going for a super high kill win, but Marius is definitely still down to box fight a kid for no reason. Metal, maybe? Maybe he wants his metal? I can't... Yeah, I can't quite figure out why we want to take this fight. I guess... Oh, it's the mo it's the weapon bunker. Never mind. My bad. This is the weapon bunker. Makes a lot of sense now. Didn't realize this was here. Is it, is it glitched on the minimap? 
Or do they not show on the minimap until they open? I've never actually realized. They must only oh. show up on the minimap when they're open. That's my bad. Oh, good thing he had Siphon there. So Marius is willing to play aggressive for the boss to get the medallion and then willing to play aggressive to get the weapon bunker, which makes sense. He's happy to take a fight, but for the advantages it gains him. It looks like he's not just going to yeah, key this game for no reason. Man. I wonder how he gets his medal. That's the only problem with the new PYs. They don't uh, seem uh, to have a lot uh, of metal. Uh, I mean, he's got 219. That's not too bad, but there's no longer caches. So there's no guaranteed form of mid-game metal. But I think that's just the, the price you pay for dropping the new PYs. Oh, there's metal in the bunker. The weapon bunker. Good point. There's a whole bunch of recyclable and refarmable metal inside the bunker. So I guess that's another reason to secure it. Because attachments wise, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're running the um, gatekeeper My shotgun as your main shotgun, kid, kid, weapon bunk is even better for the extended mag. He already has extended mag though, so he's not actually gaining that much from this bunker other than the metal. All right, now let's see if he drops his his mythic SMG for a burst SMG. A lot of pros have been doing that. That was a purple burst, which he doesn't seem interested in. Yeah, so he's mainly going for the bunker for metal. It doesn't seem like he's gonna gain much else from this. He already pretty much had max meds, or he did have max meds, I think. He can't put any attachments on his SMG and his shotgun already has good attachments. So he's willing to just risk it for the metal. So he put a muzzle on the shotgun, which doesn't really do that much. Yeah, so he's gained basically nothing from this but the metal. But the risk is worth it. I think in duos, the weapon bunk is going to be very, very strong for trying to get snipers and weapon attachments. Okay. All right, so we only get 16 kills, but we're still pushing, kids. We are still willing to take a fight. I can't see any reason to take this fight other than we want to. And again, he now knows that these players he's versing are going to be much better than his first lobby on average. This guy is pretty solid. Oh, nice shot. Hey, I can say only 16 kills when we got re dropping 39, okay? The 40 bomb is back on the cards. But again, this is, yeah, a much harder lobby. This player is much, much better. Oh, nice angle. Nice shot. Oh, did he get the cone? He gets the cone and he still resets the edit. You can tell, like, he knows he's versing better Boxing. opponents and he plays so much differently because of it. He had that guy fully boxed, fully coned, and instead of just going for the aggressive edit, he knew the player was going to shoot back. That's a play you only make if you know you're versing a better opponent. Because if you reset the wall there and they're a worse opponent, you give them the advantage. But he did shoot it, so he was able to take it back. Very, very well played by Maris. Interesting to see how much his playstyle changes from his first game versus second. The problem is he's just tanked a decent amount of storm damage for storm sickness. And with 16 kills in a high oh, skill based matchmaking lobby, it'll probably still go to heal off. So we'll it's see. Over. I can't even win now. Yeah, he's worried about it already. It looks like I was right. He's not going to Grim Gate for the dash medallion. So game one, he's, he tries to secure both medallions to key. But game two, he wants to hold on to just the one. He might chase down the medallion. He knows that this person here has the uh, Grim Gate medallion. So maybe he tries to aggressively fight this opponent. That is a fight that is worth taking if you're as good of a fighter as Marius. Playing aggressively to get the dash medallion is definitely worth it. Oh, that looks like that's what he's doing. He found him. I think he knows this is him. Yep. And unfortunately, because they have the medallion, if they want to run, he can't chase them without it. That was definitely him. Okay. So, so far, we are not locking down the medallion right now. So jumping back into the river to gain the three dashes, you can hold on to these for the entire game. So it is worth just refreshing them whenever you can and holding on to them. Only 45 alive though. This game is not super stacked, interestingly. If I win with 15 kills, I'll give 20 subs. Ooh. But I'm not winning with 20 in this lobby. Or 15, I mean. Okay, so at this point in the game, Marius thought he wouldn't be able to win with at least 15 kills. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the plan was with the wings there. Oh wait, this is the guy. Hell? Wait, this guy's the medallion. Not king. No. This is the this is the medallion guy. If he can take what him down fuck? here, that's huge. I got baited. No, it's him. It's not even funny. This is big. This is really big. Locking down this loot now would be huge. He needs to lock him down so the player can't run though. That's why he jumps in. Doesn't give him a chance to run. Oh, the reach. I'm him! Knowing the play no would go way. through that wall <laughs> rather than go up out the cone is such good game sense. Again, he knows he's versing better opponents now. Most players would have just ran up the ramp and gone out the cone, but he predicted he was going to go through the side wall. <laughs> that timing was uh, so perfect back. on the edit reset. Wait till it's weak, pickaxe through, and now you're in the box with them. 
And now he has double medallion. This is very big. Oh, so we're, we're fighting the player for the, uh... Fighting the player for the weapon bunker again. No. Okay, this yes. player... Very questionable for this high skill of a lobby. Okay, so interestingly, we're running medkits, big pots, and fizzberry, even with splashes on the ground there. He could have dropped any of his meds for six splashes, and he chose not to. Especially with the with the siphon, I wonder if the three bigs for six splashes would have been more worth it. I think the plan is Marius knows he's going to get more kills later. So he's probably going to drop the big pots for medkits in rotating zone or floppers. Or even potentially splashes later. Yeah, that's my kill. That's my kill. Oh, he didn't that's go for kill. the dash. That's my kill. No, it's not my kill. <laughs> he gets all the loot, but doesn't get the kill, which apparently we're still upset about. He's definitely choosing to run the Mythic SMG over the Burst. That seems to be one of the biggest areas of difference between pros this season. I thought it was going to be shotgun choice. It seems like most of them are running the new shotgun. It's but it's so SMG bad. choice. Do they prefer running the Burst SMG or the new SMG? I don't think the drum gun is going to change that much. I don't. I can't see many pros running drum gun, I don't think. Shit. It is interesting that he also drops the purple gatekeeper shotgun with drum mag to pick up the mythic without. I think that is the play, in solos especially. The quick reload on three shots is honestly fine in solos. Duos it starts to become a bit sketchier, but I do think the mythic is better. It does more damage. The speed reload is really nice. Oh, he catches him on the cone. Yep. 200. Eight Elims, 38 still left. So honestly, good pacing this game so far. He's still playing aggressive, just not as aggressive for the 21 kill win. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, why are we what getting keyed here? Oh, wait, what? It's <laughs> oh, it is the Lushi skin. This might actually be Lushi. I wonder why we're getting keyed here this though. So bad. Only 37 alive in a high skill based matchmaking lobby. I thought it was gonna be more stacked than this. The players are definitely a lot better on average Lushi. though. You can just tell by the way they fight. Oh, he's going to try it. Nice. He's got the timing on the Lucia. dash really well. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucia. He wasn't doing the dash in much in his first game. He's doing it way more in the second game, which is interesting. The guy he just killed has 46,000 earned. That's the hard thing sometimes, man. You want to judge an opponent's skill based on how easily they die to a pro, but sometimes the pros just make even good players look like bots. This is definitely an example Next. of how much harder it is to key in a better lobby. Uh, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> We're still reading it. subs and chat while dropping back-to-back -back wins in EU Victory Cup Finals. I love it. Content creator Marius, bro. Oh, gets the stare through. This player's never fight on a flat. The Danish ping, Best not ping good ever. enough. Yeah, it's over. Nice. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's interesting how often... I think the reason why he likes running the Gatekeeper shotgun so much as well is he uses the SMG or his AR to pressure a bunch. And he lets it run out on ammo. And then he just uses the uh, Cerberus as a double tack. So many pros use the Cerberus for one shot and then swap weapons. It looks like Marius is a lot more comfortable like going for peace step. control. And then keeping the shotgun out for the second shot. Which makes sense. It's a very fast fire rate. It is like attack. See like there. He, he often doesn't swap. Oh, so He's mainly just using his SMG as like a way to break builds and get peace control. Not I actually missed. any real damage. 30 That's alive. So okay. This game stayed really stacked. Full box. Full box. No. Wait, what is he doing? Yeah, I feel like this playstyle is very risky against an auto shotgun, though. If yeah, someone had a good it. auto shotgun, it could be bad. It's All right, unsurprisingly, he's choosing not to run the wings as well. Oh, my God. That that rotate without this medallion would have been an absolute nightmare. Now he's deep into next zone. Zero risk, zero damage taken. And no mats expended. So strong. He's got really, really good damage control on builds. Like, the amount of times he leaves the builds at, like, literally 1 HP for the opponent to break it is... Very impressive. 25 first rotate. Not a crazy end game as well. No massive verticality. No real water zone capability, I don't think. I have to win this game. He's choosing to stay back here. So once it gets to the full rotating zones, it looks it's like he's comfortable one. to late it's rotate fine, fine. and try to just go for damage and refreshes. It seems like last zone, he early rotated to get deeper in zone to be in a safer Crack. position. Now he's happy to stagger his rotate. No, what the fuck? No, that's just OP. Jeez, look at... <laughs> there you go. Marius agrees with me. Whoever has Grim Gates wins FNCS. Spray this kid. 100. Jeez. Spray him, spray him. The SMG shoots so fast. Still spraying. Spray him, Chad. 
Trying to talk to the rest of the lobby. Dead. Ha. I got the kill. The score, 13 score. kills. So he only gets three more Dragon, kills Dragon. of the next 17 players. So he either Dragon. gets hit really hard here or he starts playing a lot Wait. more for placement. 20. <laughs> it's not even what him, but he's weak now. You may as well just kill him. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, why? Wait, why is why are you fighting him, bro? What are you doing, man? Wait, why are you fighting him, dude? What are you doing? Oh, it's over. I can't win. It took so 14 much kills. Marius is worried about the heal off. He knows this game's going at least somewhat of a heal off. He's got three med kits. He needs to get a refresh for more meds, though. Three med kits will not win this heal off, I don't think. We have pulled all the way, all the way to Snooty, though, which might kill the lobby out a little bit. Nice. Oh, we've tanked more Storm. Oh, no. Only because we tanked so much in the early game, I think, is the main concern. What the f***? The auto shotgun. So far, by far. The riskiest weapon to verse Marius with right now. I mean, the most damage done to Marius this entire game has been in the hands of the auto shotgun. This slow... Okay, this slowed down his end game a lot. He needs to get at least one more big kill for the refresh on meds, though. Zone keeps pulling Max. I said there was no area for this zone to go to water. I did not think it was just going to keep Max pulling to the ocean. Still got plenty of material. He's starting to go for high ground. Nice. If, you need, if you need a med refresh, high ground's often the way to go for it. High ground usually will be lacking on mats, but very healthy on meds. Bro, think he's safe and just oh, he's got no extra meds now. He's going to have to go through all of his meds. He's now only got 105 effective HP. Is he going to use the grind rail? Wait in my box. Nice. nice. Siphon. There we go. We, get more we only get one med kit from that. This was not an easy win. At this point in the game, I would have said that he loses this. This is not the loadout you want going into I final fight. rotating zone in a Victory Cup Finals. I fight, I fight. All right, we take Hyde, but where do we get our meds? Maybe with Cypher, we don't need it. Interesting that the lobby is going less to heal off the with the fuck? more skilled players. I guess more of them played aggressive because he hasn't dropped that many kills. I know 15 kills is a lot, but it's not like a 40 bomb, so I'm surprised this isn't going to heal off. It, it's just straight up not going to heal off. Wow. Maybe I'm we're going to see a trend this up. season where if you Watch win up. your first game, your second game... I won! ...is more aggressive. <laughs> Let's go! Back-to-back -back wins. And that was very surprising. Man, Marius is 100% the next up-and-coming pro, though. My man is going to take over this season. I'm calling it right now.